There's probably a dozen cities in the fishing community that all call themselves Tuna Town or label themselves as the billfish capital of the world. Guatemala, where we were sitting, without question, without peer, is the 12 month out of the year billfish capital of the world, period. Been a while since I've seen one of these. The ultimate tackle bag, buddy. So what'd you bring? I got a little bit of everything for you here, big boy. I've been coming here to Guatemala since the early 90s. One thing Guatemala doesn't do is disappoint. This is my fourth trip here, and I can't wait for my fifth. Every trip always has a special twist. Look who it is. Oh, yeah. nice of you to join us this morning, sir. In the case of this trip, we didn't know there was a grouper fishery here. Apparently you guys want a grouper fish now, I hear. Hey, you need uh, fish, we're here to kill so them. We got a restaurant, we need to feed people. Anything else around dodos, tuna, that kind of stuff? They caught some tunas yesterday, Sweet. so we'll be looking at that. I remember when I first came down here 25 years ago, they were, catch they were catching some big yeah. gray tunas, those 200 pounders and stuff. What's the story with the boats? We had a, added a 48 foot GNS called the Hooker. You know, the biggest benefit to guys that love to fish who don't have the resources or the time or the opportunity to come discover a place like this is Dave's done all the hard work for you. Kind of a famous so, boat, right? Kind of, kind a lot of, famous, of history kind of there. Famous. 87 IGFA world records. There's an awesome lodge here that'll take care of your every need. It's a very easy to get to destination, even in times like we're having with COVID right now. And he's assembled a fleet of some of the baddest boats really to ever grace the Pacific or the Atlantic. I've been run by some badass captains. And now you. And now me. Yeah. We'll see how it goes now. <laughs> I can't think of another fleet across the world that I've seen personally that is quite like Dave's fleet of boats. We got that boat, hopefully uh, we're gonna start the Costa Rica deal up. So we'll be fat fishing with that boat down and that's goes, summertime, right? Yeah, so the boat goes back in May. It's covering for my boat now, the one that I normally run, the Poco Loco. Uh -huh. You know, the same way Dave made Guatemala accessible to the general public, he wants to start a little operation in Costa Rica, chase those blue marlin. How many bites a day? So good days, man, 30 bites a day. I want to see that. So May 15th, we're going to offer the fat fishing trips out of Capos, Costa Rica. Let's go. Let's go fishing.